हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ए न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ स्ट्रैट इंडिया एज पर द न्यूज रिपोर्ट्स कमिंग फ्रॉम द म्यांमार जेफ सेवेंटीन थंडर सप्लाइड टू म्यांमार एयरफोर्स बाय पाकिस्तान वेर डिक्लेयर्ड ऑन फिट एंड द मिलिट्री जनता हैज सेंट ए स्टॉन मेसेज टू इस्लामाबाद टू आंसर फॉर द मेस पाकिस्तान सप्लाइड इलेवेन जेफ सेवेंटीन थंडर कम्बाट एयरक्राफ्ट टू म्यांमार between 2019 and 2021 and all have been declared on fit for the combat operations the jf17 thunder combat aircraft is jointly developed by the pakistan aeronautics complex and china's chengdu aircraft industries corporation it has a chinese airframe and avionics and is powered by a russian engine myanmar which was the first country besides pakistan to buy jf17 was forced to ground its entire fleet owing to the technical malfunctions reports suggest that the reason behind the grounding in myanmar was that the airframe of jf17 reported vibration issues which is vulnerable to damage especially in its wing tips and hard points when the aircraft encounters strong gravitational forces The critical part of the JF-17 avionics is the Chinese-made KLJ-7 radar, which has a poor accuracy and maintenance problems. According to a Myanmar media reports, malfunction of the weapons mission management computer has caused launch zones of BVR air-to-air missiles to shrink during combat exercises. Since its induction in PAF in 2007. it has seen a slew of crashes there have been reports of the aircraft being grounded several times due to issues like cracks in the guide vanes exhaust nozzles and flame stabilizers both indian made lca tejas and jf17 thunder are single engine multi role combat aircraft but nothing is similar between these two aircrafts except the engine configuration According to experts, LCA Tejas fares better than its regional peers, especially the JF-17 Thunder that is powering the Pakistan Air Force. JF-17, which is the mainstay of the PAF, is powered by an unreliable engine which is hazardous to the pilot's safety. The LCA scores over JF-17 when it comes to the serviceability. In the IAF squadron the lca has a serviceability of over 75% out of 100 aircrafts delivered to date at least 40 jf17 aircraft are known to be unserviceable the number of accidents on this aircraft in pakistan shows a very dismal record the lca on the other hand has a nil accident record to date and high serviceability Another parameter that sets LCA one notch above the JF-17 is the fly-by-wire system. The JF-17 has a triplex redundant fly-by-wire system, whereas the LCA has a quadruplex redundant architecture. Tejas is more capable, maneuverable, agile, and reliable aircraft than JF-17, and has demonstrated higher instantaneous and sustained turn rates. then jf17 the chinese jf17 was initially powered by a russian rd93 engine from block 3 onwards chinese then offered their local unproven ws13 engine to the jf17 operators both rd93 as well as chinese ws13 has a life span of 2000 hours and mtbf of 500 hours and riddled with reliability issues however western engines like ge404 and 414 which powers many military aircraft globally with an unblemished record has a life span of 4000 hours and hot core life span of 2000 hours without a reliable engine the jf17 is very hazardous for pilot safety chances of mission success are very poor on jf17 equipped with ws13 engine 
For LCA Tejas, the entire software, including the flight control laws, mission computer algorithms, and weapons release solutions, is designed indigenously. There are unique features in the flight control laws that allows carefree handling and recovering from unseen situations. Last but not the least, the LCS turnaround servicing time is less than 30 minutes. TRS is the time taken by the aircraft to get airborne again after each landing as the aircraft undergoes servicing before another takeoff. This is because the LCA Tejas has all its services on hydraulics. On the other hand, reports suggest that JEP-17 uses pneumatic systems to operate some of the utility services in main and emergency modes. This requires regular charging of the pneumatics which increases the turnaround servicing time. Though the JF-17 was harshly produced and inducted by Pakistan in 2007, the long-awaited developmental phase of LCA Tejas has been compensated with the evolution of a matured fighter with each passing day. Thanks for watching the video. Do not forget to subscribe our channel and write your views and suggestions in the comments box. Jai Hind!